Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is a scorching Saturday morning. It's already 83 degrees, sunny, schwitzy, better than hot as balls in this forerunner, but I have the AC off right as I'm getting started. So there are a few things going on around Virginia Beach today. One of them is what they call Floatopia which is where all these drunk people get together and they lasso themselves together in a big floating city on the Chesapeake Bay. Most locals have a problem with Floatopia because all the drunken idiots make gigantic messes. They leave all their garbage behind. We're talking like they leave chairs, grills, shit ton of bottles and empty stuff and food and all that shit. And it costs the city, meaning us, a lot of money to clean it up but that's happening today so i'm going to try to get there i'm going to try to park at pleasure house point and then i'm going to have to hike across the street basically up to where i can get a vantage point and i'm going to try to film it for you so you can see it i have a bad habit of not filming b-roll when i do these setups so other than the big snapshot that i took that showed you what i was doing with this whole setup uh, I didn't put any B-roll, so I'm going to show you that right now and just kind of explain everything. The other thing that I'm doing today is that this time, instead of having the 14 millimeter G Master on here, I've got the 16 to 35 2.8 G Master, and that way I can have my ND filters and all that shit on there. And I just wanted to see if it worked because it is bigger and heavier than the 14 millimeter, but I don't get to put any filters on it. So now I'm going to film with my S22 Ultra at the same time and go. So right now, what you're seeing is the setup that I've got going on the Forerunner to accommodate the A7 IV with the 16 to 35 G Master today. Sometimes I'll have the 14 millimeter G Master, but I wanna see if the 16 to 35 works because that's a better filming lens for me. Now you can see on the screen here uh, that I have more than enough space to show inside the vehicle, including me. And if my queen were sitting here, you could see her and you can see inside enough. But here's the whole setup now. So I've got the, you know, the A7 IV. I've got the DJI wireless microphone set up. You can see here's my 16 to 35 G Master. And then what I did was I used this fall cam suction cup mount that has all these like quick release thingies here. And this is the fall cam, uh, I guess you'd want to call it a magic arm and it comes down to another quick fitting right there and then i have the quick release plate screwed into this panoramic uh mount and then i have an arca clamp screwed into that so now i can just unscrew that and i can spin the camera all the way around if I need to. And I did it yesterday and I cut it out because it was all blown out, but I can spin this camera all the way around and get forward facing. Now I'm gonna test this out today and see how it works, especially because now it makes this really heavy, lens heavy, and you can see how it's jiggling. But the jiggle wasn't too bad yesterday with the active stabilization on. So for now, we are going to head on over to Floatopia, but I need to blast the AC because already this metal from sitting in the sun all morning, because I'm stupid and I don't put on the, uh, the shield, it is like burning hot. So let's go do that and we'll see what we find at Floatopia. And if we don't find anything good there, we'll go somewhere else. So for now, let's take a ride. Okay, so I've been blasting the AC, so it's much cooler in here. And now I want to record a little bit as I'm driving over to the Pleasure House Point area over the bridge, just so that we can see how this jiggles. It is jiggling because of the weight. There's no getting past that. I mean, a magical arm and a suction cup can only do so much. Yes, it's rated for several times more than this thing weighs, but it's still just physics. You can't get away from that. It didn't look bad yesterday. I don't think it's gonna look bad today. And I don't see anything out there. Not really anyways. I mean, there's a couple of floaters and all that kind of shit, but I don't, I don't actually know when that's supposed to start. So, but that's kind of cool because now I don't have to worry about it. I think I'm gonna see if I can park all the way at the other side of Pleasure House Point because here's where I would normally park and it's it's a long haul to get around there. So I'll go to the, to the lot and see, but when I'm there, I'm gonna look this up and see if there isn't uh, some kind of information that maybe I got the wrong weekend or it's not here anymore and it's somewhere else. Maybe they moved it to the boardwalk area, who knows? One way or the other, we're out having fun, right? Okay, so I looked this up 
And I remember this happening on Memorial Day, but I guess it's Memorial Day and or 4th of July. Listen to this. Three years ago, the Memorial Day event came under fire when partiers left 10 tons of trash on the shoreline of Ocean Park. <laughs> 10 tons. Can you even imagine how much that is? How, how big of a pile that is? How much garbage? I mean, it is absolutely ridiculous. So I don't know if, if you can actually see that. It, it's all rainbowy on my screen. So uh, that's basically Floatopia. It looks like they're trying to not give a permit, but you know, there's only so much you can do. All right, so uh, that's why it's not here. Virginia Beach city officials have denied a permit to organizers attempting to hold the event on Saturday. Yeah, basically it's just a, a gigantic uh, article about people saying that, that all these drunken assholes suck and they're tired of cleaning up after them. So I don't know that this is gonna happen, if it happens, it might actually just be 4th of July. Even worse than that, what happened in the neighborhoods with parking and people walking through yards, urinating and things like that. We just don't want to see that that happens again. <laughs> yes, I love drunk people. So I don't know, it might not be happening. Who knows, but let's go take a walk. So this is the inlet. This is where people launch their boats like over in that direction. And then they come through here and they get out into this little portion out over there. But if they go that way, they can actually head out to the ocean. So this is where a lot of partiers go. But as you can see out there, kinda, they're already starting to clump and it will be completely out of control here. And there you have it. Kind of a low key weekend so far. I mean, granted, it's only like 1140 on Saturday of the holiday weekend. But you know, how many people have you heard to say, well, it's gotta be five o'clock somewhere in the world as they start guzzling down their beer and whatever the hell else. But basically because it's morning, they usually go with mimosas. Can you tell I have an issue with drunk people? So, all right, that's enough filming for now. We're gonna have to go somewhere else in Virginia Beach and try to find something interesting. I'm sure there's a lot of shit going on this weekend. Let's go find something. Hey kids, we're down here at the boardwalk. Here, let me let me use the background there. So, uh, not as crowded as I thought it would be. Just like last night, it wasn't as crowded as we thought it would be. Just like at the beach, it wasn't as crowded as I thought it was gonna be, or at least for Flutopia, which didn't seem to happen. So I just thought I'd come down here and check out what's going on. I mean, not that it's not, uh, there's not a lot of people down here, but I just assumed that it would be a lot more hectic than it actually is. Okay kids, it was a very interesting day, didn't quite work out in any way that I thought that it would. It was a very low key day, but I got a lot of stuff done. Oh, and I also cleaned the shower in the bathroom because that was disgusting, uh, but it didn't take long. And I love that new shower head. So that's pretty much it today. It is like almost exactly five o'clock right now. I want to actually edit this video before I start cooking so that I'm not like going into Sven Gulli time three hours from now, you know, and still editing. So that's all I got for you today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave it down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.